Today, I'll be spending 5,000 resin to fix my viewer's cursed account, and they have saved over 100 fragile resin ever since they started playing Genshin Impact. I will be volunteering myself to suffer in the painful artifact domain just for them. Well, um, not really, but for your enjoyment, I will be more than glad to. Enjoy. But before we begin, I made sure to pick out the best four characters that I could build around Noel with. I mean, three, actually, because that's three other characters, but I thought of Noel, Goro, Yunjin, and Fischl. Now, this is going to be very, very challenging because they are all level 40, and that's fairly low level compared to being a level 80 character and level 90 character. So, without further ado, we are first going to go through Goro and quickly level him up as much as I can. Thankfully, we have so much purple books right now because if we didn't have any materials that would have been another challenge but level 50 we're going to turn goro into level 60 for now now my main objective is going to be making noel a dps because obviously their noel is pretty correct and if i can have noel as a dps maybe goro as a sub dps yunjin as a support and fisher support i think that would be the best case scenario oh wait i just realized we got a free acquaint fate hold up free acquaint fate oh i just realized that their primo drums are at 110 oh that's kind of uh, bad maybe we should save their acquaint fates that they they get <laughs> Also, I apologize to Renmu if you're watching this video right now because, uh, yeah, I could be roasting your account a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to try making Goro level 70, so we're going to quickly farm these materials and then ascend them. Now, before we actually fight this boss, I'm going to make sure to pick a different roster because these characters are kind of low level and I think it will take longer than it should. All right, Perpetual Mechanical Array. This is actually one of my favorite bosses because I feel like you can use any element against this and you can do a ton of damage. Just spin around one of all and just do as much damage as we can. <laughs> Alright, there goes one run and we're going to do this one more time. I thought we needed one more, but I guess we actually need one more. <laughs> okay, finally, after doing that two more times, even though I thought it was going to be one, we have now... Oh, we got a good feather. All right, let's go back to our other roster and finally level up Goro. Goro, I don't know why you took so long, but we're here now. Level 69. Okay, I gotta just stop. Every time I level up a character to level 69, I don't know why I just find it so funny. <laughs> and there we go. It looks like I should level up their skill and normal attack. So let's just go in that order. Skill, normal attack ultimate totally fine because we can craft more okay maybe we can't maybe they have extra oh they do renwu thank you so much for having some extra of those specters let's go back and there we go level four let's actually level this up to level five instead oh wait okay we're gonna have to farm some of these specters these guys are kind of annoying because they're kind of in a far place but we need to make sure his talents are leveled up to a decent amount All right, now that I collected a couple of those specters, once again, one of the most annoying enemies to kill. Let's level up some more of Goro's talents and hopefully we can level this up to level six at least. Level six, perfect. That's actually the maximum that we can do. All right, so Goro is basically going to be leveled up to a good amount, I'd say, and talents are decent. Level six talents, and I think I don't even have enough guide to lights to level up the normal attack anymore, which I'm probably not even going to need. I totally forgot about the weapon. Oh, wait, I, I skipped over the weapon. I, I just realized that. Okay, let's level up the weapon a a little bit i just love how renwu is just chilling with 40 million mora i mean it's just a casual day a casual day on genshin impact all right level 60 and i think we'll level up this one more time all right level 70 i think level 70 is good i don't even think we have enough of these shackles of the dandelion gladiator but i think level 70 is fine now to move on to the next character i'm gonna go move on with fischl just because i was thinking of using yunjin or yolan so i'm still debating whether or not i should use one of them or actually just even put kazuha because kazuha is leveled up at a good amount and I think Kazuha is one of their biggest damage dealers. So we're going to skip over Yinjin and go for Fischl because Fischl is going to be supportive character. Leveling up these characters and using these characters is going to be really, really fun because I personally don't use this roster at all. Honestly, I'd like to do this more. I really hope you guys would enjoy this type of series because of the fact that I get to use different type of rosters and help you guys out. So please let me know you guys' thoughts on this. They have the Stringless bow. Stringless is definitely a good weapon for Fischl. We are actually big chilling with materials. I don't know why I just say, I just say the wrong things at the wrong time. We're leveling up our character so much that our more is not even like a factor in this at all but my goal is to level all these characters in one day and keep that as a challenge so thursday is not today which today is wednesday and yeah we're basically uh not able to do this so now to level up their talents official's talents is pretty fun oh 
I totally forgot that we don't even have our character ascended. So we're going to have to farm this Electro Hypothesis a couple of times to level official to level 70, I'd say. All right, this Electro Hypothesis thankfully isn't a really tanky enemy, so this isn't going to be that big of an issue. I feel like the patterns of the Electro Hypothesis are definitely just a second nature at this point. Like every time I just see the first move, I just know what's going to happen next. The wall damage is actually so good. I've been using the wall to fight these bosses and the wall has been carrying a lot because of their damage. Bro's outside the map. What is going on? All right, we're gonna have to farm this a couple of times, like I mentioned before, and we're gonna have to use one of our fragile resins for the first time. I just joined someone random, and I'm just gonna ask them if they can help me farm the electro hypothesis. Can you help me? Oh, I can't even spell help. All right, hopefully they say yes. Usually, co op players are one of the nicest people ever. Yep, there you go. Of course, what do you need? Let's go. All right, now that we got a partner in crime, this is gonna be 10 times easier and 10 times faster. Oh my, wait, they're all hit them does crazy damage. Whoa. Okay, yeah, they're basically gonna carry me. I'll hate them is just showing me that I'll hate them. Is i'll hate them Alrighty, hp all oh, could have been better i i realize that we're getting artifacts too so hopefully we can get a decent artifact from farming these bosses but uh unfortunately that hasn't happened yet you're all hate them is insane we just realized that their bio says keva you're so gorgeous that is an amazing bio right there <gasps> wait this feather is insane imagine if we just get the craziest feather right now hold up Okay, we haven't even started the artifacts, and maybe we should stay away from leveling this one. Alrighty, this is the final attempt, and I just want to show you guys the amount of damage we do in, like, seconds. Nahaki has been the greatest help so far throughout this run, and I'm so thankful I joined someone random and had Nahaki. Alrighty, and let's collect our last one. We are actually going to use Primo Gems on this one. Okay, so now that we have the materials, we can start leveling official to level 70. Now back to the more satisfying part of this whole experience, which, of course, is leveling of characters. Okay, level 69. Ah, ha, ha. Uh, so funny so funny uh, ha, ha, ha. okay level 70 and i could do this one more time honestly because i think i have the materials but i'm gonna keep my characters to level 70 talents let's actually read the talent reference this time right so it looks like we have to do skill and ultimate which i kind of expected we're gonna speed run this all right level six talents is fine and i have made my final decision on the four characters that i'm gonna use noel goro kazuwa and fischl noel the carry kazuwa is gonna be sub dps Oh, wait, I, I don't even have the characters out. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I keep forgetting to deploy the characters. Goro, supportive, sub DPS, whatever it's called. And then Fischl being their support. Now to show you guys Kazuo's build, once again, crit rate, crit damage is not up. We're going to focus on element of mastery when farming for artifacts. And we can actually do this one time to level up their talents to level seven, which I think we should do. Oh right, yeah, we have one remaining treasure. So we will farm this really quickly. And we're going to actually form a party on this one because I think it's way better when you fight this boss as a party compared to when you fight it alone stream eta okay i gotta stop i gotta, I gotta stop <laughs> okay let's go oh oh uh, we lost um okay team uh, yeah basically carry me this team is even more correct than the one i just played with wait i'm about to die no, no, no. oh my okay it's fine because my team is basically gonna carry me <laughs> and just like that there we go i got an achievement for some reason i guess it was an achievement for dying yeah th that's what we're gonna go with all right uh let's see if we get the right one and we did we got the glided okay level seven talent kazuo slash Perfect. Level 7, 667. So I think it's time to try out the artifact domain experience, the artifact pain experience. Of course, we are going to farm no all artifacts because this is going to be our first person that we are going to prioritize. So we are going to be farming the husk set because the husk set is one of the better sets for Noel for DPS. But before we begin the artifact runs, I am going to just quickly use these 20 fragile resins that Renwu had saved up and there you go 1200 resin Jesus Christ okay oh wait I forgot to make condensed resin let me quickly do that oh man this artifact domain experience is gonna be very fun very very fun okay honestly damage isn't too bad once again this is like the first ever time I'm trying out these characters or guru at least okay Noelle just going off with her ultimate Noelle's ultimate is gonna be the main thing to do when using her as a DPS and we're gonna hopefully see a huge damage increase when farming artifacts or better artifacts in the future let's see what we got as our first artifact domain oh perfect we got husk dendro wait this is insane what in the world i'm actually kind of curious what this is going to turn into okay level 18 oh my god crit damage three times uh, i mean you can't go wrong with all these stats i mean jesus christ okay that's a keeper we're gonna actually keep that for any other dendro character that renwu is gonna need in the future that's actually a very good first run and you know what we're gonna do we're actually gonna join a co-op game because that's gonna speed up our process all right let's go team this team is gonna carry me to victory <laughs> 
from the damage I'm seeing right now with Ganyu and Yolan mixing well together, this is like a perfect team comp right now, especially with Kozo just swirling everything. I'm gonna be second to this roster. This is just insane. Thank you, team. Husk, <gasps> crit damage, energy. Wow, dude, why are we getting such good artifacts in the beginning? What is going on? If this goes bad, we do this one, and then if that goes bad, we can just do it again. Noel DPS, here we come. This person said I have been getting the worst artifacts, and I just told him that I've been getting the opposite. <laughs> it was like a low key flex. Dude, I love my team. Jesus Christ. Usually you don't find these crazy, crazy team comps and co op, but luckily we found the right group. Carry me even more, team. Please carry me. Please. Like, literally, carry me. All right, let's do it again. Third time. And another. Wow, we're just getting husk over husk crit damage. That would be perfect if we get crit rate as the last stat. Keeping that one and healing damage bonus. Don't need that. I think I just saw Zhongli do 100k. Whoa. <laughs> What is this Zhongli like C6 or something? Because that does not, that's not normal. That's not a normal Zhongli. I know when I use my Zhongli, I do up to like 20k. Okay, I just got another achievement and let's hopefully this is another husk. Probably isn't because we got too many husk. Actually, another husk. Pyro? Crit rate element of mastery attack. Okay. Dude, is the game actually just blessing me today? Okay, thank you once again, team. And this is our last artifact run on this with this team, I'm pretty sure, unless they kick me. Husk. HP. Don't need that. I need defense for Sans. And I don't need that for you. I don't know why I even bothered. All right, let's level up our artifacts that we just got. <gasps> oh my God, Kure. Wait, this is actually so good. What is going on? Oh my God, wait. They kicked me out of the game. Crit damage, crit damage, crit damage. Oh my God. Crit rate. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Look at the amount of artifacts we're just wasting right now, but it's like for a good reason. Crit damage. Oh my God, energy recharge. All right, so we actually have a new person on our party now, which he has Ito and his name is Ami Ami. Let's see what you got, Omi Omi. Two Geo characters, one Ayaka, and then of course the Kasawa. Two Geos. Good. Do some crazy damage like I'm seeing right now. Yep. Holy crap. Please let me know if you guys play co-op or do domains alone. I personally do co-op a lot because I just like meeting new people. Until someone uses a level 20 Amber, then that's a whole different story. All right. New artifact run with new condensed resin. Husk set Electro. Oh my god. This could be for Fischl. An energy recharge attack. Okay. I forgot to level this one up to see if I can get some crit rate as a last stat and the liars going on in the background. Okay. Uh, energy recharge. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have leveled up right now. Kokomi stole 1k resin from me and left me with nothing. Oh, that's uh, that is indeed the artifact experience for Genshin Impact players. That's honestly going to be me sooner or later, but uh, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> We just keep getting husk. This is an amazing day. Defense goblet. Don't need that. And attack uh, feather. Yeah, don't need that. Uh, maybe I've been getting too many good artifacts recently. I've been getting the opposite. <laughs> it was like a low key flex. Could be crit damage last stat. And Goku me set. Wow, this is just wow. I already lost count what run we're on, but attack. Okay, now this is the real artifact experience. I've been getting too many good artifacts. Maybe one wish will make all my sadness go away. Purple? Nope. Okay. Okay, so this is the 10th run of this artifact domain. And Elemental Mastery and a recharge. Once again, looking for crit rate and crit damage. We went from 1200 resin to now 600 resin. We still have a good amount. I'm not gonna lie. We have half. And hopefully we don't have to all use it on Noel because we still have other characters to farm for. Crit rate. That's what we need. We need crit rate. Hydro damage bonus. Yeah, we don't need that, but crit rate. Crit damage. Last substat. How hard can it be? Just one single time we're getting crit damage. That's... Yeah. Okay, we have two more condensed resin, and the two condensed resin is going to be crit rate. That's good for some reason. I don't know why, but like, I just know this is going to hit crit damage. Like, I don't even need to think. I don't even need to pray for crit damage. I just know it's going to hit crit damage. I got kicked out of my co-op domain too. Very unfortunate. Oh, we got level 10 Kazuwa. I just realized that. Oh, that's actually really nice. You know what? We've been farming the husk set for a good amount. I think it's time to farm some artifacts for Kazuwa. And with Kazuwa, we need the Veridescent set. Four piece VV is what we're going to be looking for. Of course, Elemental Mastery is as well. Let's see how our party does in the VV domain. We're just going to bully this assassin guy real quick. He can't even move. He can't even attack us. <laughs> Group up the enemies. And our characters aren't doing that bad. I'm actually kind of surprised. <gasps> Dude. Okay, this is exactly what we needed to do. We just need to change our, our domain. Holy crap. We just got a... Okay, we got a feather. HP. Wow, that's actually a great start. Okay, let's pretend that was like the four substat. We just got HP as our four substat. And now it's all going to be crit damage and crit rate. Okay, uh... Crit rate, crit damage. Oh, it okay, it did it once. This is actually not that bad because it hit only energy recharge, crit damage, crit rate. Thankfully not HP once again. I'll take it. 
Okay, I actually think I lost count of what run this is, but we still have three more condensed resin to use after this. HP circlet. Oh, oh man. The well really putting in work. Wait, I just saw 6k from the well. Insane. Alright, come on, Holyoverse. Please give me something good, Holyoverse. I've been domain hunting, artifact hunting for so long. Oh no. <laughs> No, Maiden. That's the worst case scenario that we just got right there. Okay, Kazuwa, just get get the artifacts you need and then we're out. Attack, Elemental Mastery. This could be viable still. Okay, our last condensed resin. Surely, once again, this can't be that bad. We have 300 resin left after using 1200. I just realized that. Wait, we're actually getting Maiden. This is actually worse. Okay, let's go back to the host set. So after doing five more runs of the Veridescent Artifact Domain and basically wasting all the 1200 resin I had, this is where you would expect me to get the best artifact ever, but no that that's basically the opposite um yeah i kind of uh i kind of ran out of resin and uh the only good artifact i got was this one and if it has crit damage as our last stat that's not bad honestly elemental mastery is what we're looking for so this could be our only hope <gasps> i actually just asked for it and it gave me it all right let's level this up a little bit <laughs> crit damage okay elemental mastery now I, I think i have enough crit damage right oh Wait, I don't have enough crit damage, I guess. I guess Holyoverse just wants to give me some crit damage. I'm good with that, honestly. I'm not even going to say anything because I don't want to jinx anything. <laughs> what is going on? Wait, what's actually going on? I'm in disbelief. I, I want to keep quiet because I don't want to say anything wrong. Jesus Christ. Wait, we actually just got one of the best artifacts ever. I guess when I basically just said I didn't get any good artifacts, I guess I was wrong. I'm happy with that. 32% crit damage is insane. I actually totally forgot about this flower that can hit Elemental Mastery as our last substat. So we're going to just quickly level this up. I, I'm actually kind of shaking right now. <laughs> wait, wait, Holyverse is actually blessing me right now. Just give me Elemental Mastery. Okay, energy recharge. All right, let's get a bonus no why is it actually hitting all energy recharge this is actually super super unfortunate right now one last time wow it had energy recharge all times and then for the feather it hit crit damage all times i don't know what's going on and we still need a crit rate or crit damage circlet so that's what we're going to be looking for so now that we basically ran out of resin i think you guys know where we're going at it's time for another 20 this is actually crazy that's already 2400 resin if you guys know how much time it takes to actually save up fragile resin you guys would understand that use that much resin is a lot of dedication the first run of our new fragile resin that we just used <gasps> crit damage energy reach okay oh wow that that was actually really bad i just forgot that kafka actually came out today so just because kafka came out just give me something good <gasps> wait sans attack crit damage crit rate uh actually i mean it's not bad can't go wrong with those two pieces depending on this last subset <gasps> crit damage or crit rate sorry well i'm actually blind oh that's exactly what we needed crit damage and crit rate only especially how we just hit crit rate so many times wait i just realized we have one more okay <laughs> HP, okay. Kazuma got a new Sans at least. That's a plus. Real time done speaking here. So I decided to actually make this a two part series because there is so much more footage and resin I use for my viewers account. And I thought this would be more exciting to split the series into two. I would appreciate it if you guys liked and commented your guys' thoughts on the video. And I would even maybe even choose your account to fix next time. So yeah, see you guys.